This is Craig Hogard with your Financial Issues Ag update for April 21st. Well, the corn market set new life of contract highs yesterday as it was driven by continued dry weather in Brazil along with the cold weather here in the U.S. We also had fresh export sale uh, with the USDA announcing the sale of 114,000 metric tons of corn to Mexico for the current marketing year. Uh, all of this brought in some solid fund buying as they were the estimated buyers of 35,000 contracts yesterday. Soybeans closed higher for the sixth consecutive session with new crop November beans trading above $13 at one point while spot futures hit the highest level that they've seen since June of 2014. The item that made the biggest news yesterday was a Ukrainian sale of canola to Canada. Now Canada is the world's largest exporter of canola so the thought that Canada doesn't have enough canola and thus indirectly that North America doesn't have enough oil seeds had traders aggressively buying soybean futures yesterday. In Chinese news, crush margin in that nation are improving. There are also news that their hog herd is growing and could be back to normal numbers by summer. And that in turn was also friendly for soybean prices. Wheat closed firmer across the board with the hard red winter wheat of Kansas City futures, the leader, up about nine cents. Chicago futures were up roughly seven and a half and Minneapolis is about four and a half cents higher. Recent cold temperatures and forecasts for cold temperatures again tonight have domestic production uh, somewhat nervous here in this nation. On the international front, Russian wheat Wheat values firmed up by $2 per metric ton yesterday, but remain $23 per metric ton under our hard red winter wheat FOB values. We're starting to hear some concerns about EU supplies and the impact of dryness, uh, which following the recent round of freeze is uh, hurting wheat conditions over in Europe. Cotton futures closed in positive territory yesterday. In fact, at the close, July futures were up 46 points as they settled at 85.17. Livestock futures were also higher straight across the board. At the close, we had June live cattle futures up 60 cents, while May feeder cattle were 30 cents higher at the closing bell. Lean hog futures kept their upside momentum going, with June futures finishing up $2, 2.5 cents for the day. Class 3 milk futures advanced once again. At the close, we had May futures up 16 points settling at 19.32. Meat cutout values were all higher for the day as well. Choice box beef was $2.09 higher, closing at 278.26. Select boxes were $1.34 higher as they settled at 270.47. Pork carcass cutout values were stronger as well, finishing 95 cents higher, ending the day at $115.03 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Egg Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this.